Hello everyone and welcome back to Zaclit Educational Channel. So in this video, we are going to know some of the frequently asked concepts in the UGC NET Environmental Science paper with short notes. Yet get ready with your notes so that you can note down the important points which we are going to discuss in this video, which will help you to revise wisely before the examination. So without much delay, let's start today's video. So here as usual to know a concept you'll know from the previous year's question which is asked from that question and this is the concept from the environmental toxicology yes this subject or this topic some of you will be having a better grip but most of the students they find it a boring one but don't need to worry about this we'll be having the short notes in order to ease your problem so let us read the question level at which most of the non-carcinogenic substances produces observable adverse biological effects is known as what whether it is called as absorption potential threshold dose distribution quotient or metabolic quotient so here we have to know some of the terms these four terms are important in the environmental toxicology if we know all these four you will be able to answer it very easy simple question so here the correct option i will tell you it will be threshold dose yes threshold dose is the level that means for example if there is a non carcinogenic substance it is having the adverse biological effect on any organism may it animal or you human beings so what happens at certain points for example you are taking 10 mg per liter uh, non carcinogenic substance and then we are taking 20 mg 30 mg so when we will see at 30 mg per liter if that substance we are taking observable adverse biological effects is seen that means till 29 milligram per liter there is no such effect seen in the animal or humans but when it is seen that 30 milligram per liter that substance is taken or ingested through any of the method or ways then there is biological observable adverse effect that means it is having some effects on the body of the living organism so that dose that means the 30 milligram per liter is the threshold dose that means from here after if we increase the dosage the adverse effect will be more but before that there were no adverse effects seen in the organism i hope it is clear now now this table you have to make in order to know all these four terms so first is absorption potential its definition or description is it measures the ability of a substance to be absorbed into the body through skin lungs or gastrointestinal tract that means it measures the ability how much that substance is having the ability to get absorbed in our body through skin lungs or gastrointestinal tract that means the measures the ability of that substance what is the relevance to the adverse effect it indicates the exposure risk so from absorption potential we can know the indication of the exposure risk not the level at which adverse effects occur so we cannot say at what point that substance is having the adverse effect on our body but it indicates the exposure risk next is threshold dose which we already discussed the level at which a substance begins to produce observable adverse biological effects we can observe that there is some defect after having that substance at particular dose that is called as threshold dose so it directly indicates the level at which adverse effects occur which was not seen in case of absorption potential we cannot say at which point the adverse effect is seen but in case of threshold dose we can directly indicate from the indication that level at which adverse effect occur let me remind you about the four mock test series which will provide a solid revision for the UGC NET environmental science paper so this quality mock test as per the latest syllabus is available for just rupees 199 yes two simple steps to avail this mock test you have to pay rupees 199 to this number double eight nine five zero three five six nine zero and send me the screenshot and then i will provide you the links for the all four mock test next is distribution quotient i hope you are noting down all this thing distribution quotient relates to the ratio or measure of how a substance distributes itself within different compartments or tissue of the body after absorption for example there is a substance which we are taking indirectly or directly and how it is 
having its distribution throughout the blood vessels throughout the tissue in our body after absorption that thing is the distribution quotient how it is distributed throughout the body that is the distribution quotient of any substance that is toxic substance next is what is the relevance to the adverse effects it affects the toxicity and biological impact but not the specific dose for the adverse effects specific dose only for the threshold dose neither of these three are having that thing so it affects the toxicity and biological impact only come back to the next and the final term in this relation that is what that is metabolic quotient it refers to the rate at which a substance is metabolized or processed by the body's metabolic pathway that means it is coming inside our body so it is inside our body then at what rate it is broken down and it is passing from our body through the metabolic effect that means the body is doing the metabolic effect so after which that substance is broken down and it is ejected out of our body so that that rate at which it is ejected out or it is metabolized or processed in our body it is called as the metabolic quotient of any substance so it indicates how quickly a substance is broken down and eliminated from our body affecting the duration and intensity of the effect but not the specific dose for the adverse effect we can't say so i hope you are clear you have to note down and i will also add this table in our telegram page if you are not there you can join there link is in the description below let's move on to the next important frequently asked concept so this concept is from the coal yes this minerals coal is very important it can ask the how much of sulfur content is there in what kind of coal what kind of coal is important what kind of coal is the waste kind of coal from that there is also one more question asked that is regarding the ultimate analysis of coal so the question let us read first which among the following are ultimate analysis of coal the options are moisture nitrogen volatile matter oxygen and fixed carbon so we have to select the correct answer from the following combination given in the options so before that we will first know what is this ultimate analysis so ultimate analysis means it determines the elemental composition of coal so what are the elements present in the coal from this analysis we can say that is the ultimate analysis and what components it is analyzing it is analyzing carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen and sulfur let me repeat carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen and sulfur these are the elements which are determined through the ultimate analysis of the coal one more thing you should know proximate analysis don't get confused with that proximate analysis is little bit having the difference that means it determines the physical characteristics and the properties and composition of the coal in terms of its main components so main components are this main ultimate analysis will determine this component but the physical characteristics and the composition from the main components will be analyzed through the proximate analysis technique so and what are the things done the analysis of moisture in the coal volatile matter ash content and fixed carbon in the coal will be the things which will come under the proximate analysis of the coal some of the students will be confused between fixed carbon and carbon so proper carbon that is the element is analyzed with the help of ultimate analysis but fixed carbon is analyzed with the help of proximate analysis of the coal so now we can say which are the following under the ultimate analysis of the coal so b and d b and d means nitrogen and oxygen comes under the ultimate analysis of the coal that is the correct option option 3 we will get the full marks so i hope you have noted down all these things so through these short videos we are revising we are knowing the things which we don't know if you don't know so i hope you like this series and if you like this don't forget to subscribe the channel zaklit and hit the notification icon to get all further updates so see you guys in our next video till then keep smiling and believe in yourself